Hello, I'm Evie, and today I am going to show you how you go from an empty Blender project to an actual web page using Needle Engine. Needle Engine helps you bring your Unity, Blender, and NVIDIA Omniverse project into the web. It's flexible, extensible, and has incredible iteration speeds. With Needle Engine for Blender, you can build fully interactive 3D websites running on 3.js. They can easily be deployed to the web and get optimized automatically by the Needle Engine build pipeline. Let's hop over to the website and open our Quick Start page. Before we can start, we need to download Node.js, which we need to preview and build the website that we're going to create. Let's download Needle Engine for Blender now. You can find the currently supported Blender versions in our Getting Started Guide, which we've also linked in the video description. Alright, now it's time to set up our new project. Let's open up a Blender file which we want to export to the web. To install the Needle Blender add-on, we need to go to Edit, Preferences, and Add-ons. Click Install and select the zip file we've just downloaded. Click Install Add-on. Next, we'll set up a folder for our project. This is where our web project will be stored in our disk. Then click Generate Project. Once the project has been generated, a browser window opens up. As you can see, it says that our connection is not private. This warning occurs because your browser is cautious about accessing web pages, even on your own computer. But since we've just started that web page from the add-on, it's safe to trust. Just click Advanced and then Proceed. Now we can view our Blender scene in the web. If we make any changes in our Blend file and press Save, the website will automatically refresh and show us our changed model. Now let's have a look at our Needle Engine panel in general. This is the path to a web project. You can use the little folder button on the right to select a different path. The Directory button opens the directory of your web project. The Code Editor button opens Visual Studio Code, where you can add custom code and HTML to your project. The Install button does some initial setup, so your project can run on the web. The Start Server button starts the project and opens it in your browser. This button re-exports the current scene as a GLB to your local web project. This also happens by default when saving your blend file. Use the Build Development or Build Production buttons when you want to upload your web project to a server. When clicking Build Production, some additional optimizations to file size and performance will be applied. One of the advantages of using Needle is that you can upload your project anywhere you want. For some places, we've made it extra easy. In this tutorial, we'll upload the Glitch, an entirely free platform for hosting small web projects. Let's hop back to Blender. As you can see, we already have a panel that is called Needle Deploy to Glitch. Let's click the Create New Project on Glitch button. A new tab with instruction opens up. Copy the URL in your browser and paste it in Blender, in the field Project Name, and hit Enter. We still need a deployment key, so let's press the little Open URL button next to the key field. Type in a key of your choice in the field next to Deploy Key, copy it, and paste it in Blender. Then press Deploy to Glitch. A website with our creation opens up. And that's how you set up Needle Engine. So easy, isn't it? We went from an empty Blender project to a website with our very own scene in it. Needle Engine comes with a variety of tools and features that can be used in many different ways. Like our friends over at Cartoon Fun, who created an immersive experience of their cartoons using Needle Engine. If you are stuck, feel free to check out our documentation page that is linked in the video description, or ask for help on our Discord server. To learn more about Needle Engine, visit our website under needle.tools.